But the 4th of July just two days away now, and while it's a festive time for many, it can also cause anxiety and trigger post-traumatic stress disorder episodes for our military veterans. Our Megan Shin spoke with veterans and the VA about supporting our service members when fireworks become too much. Fireworks are patriotic, but for some military veterans, it causes feelings of panic. It's a reaction caused by post-traumatic stress disorder. Both veterans Daryl Jackson and Aaron Brinkley understand PTSD after serving overseas. There's so many things that trigger PTSD. Um, certainly fireworks can be one for, for me also. The whistling ones that it's the ones that sound like mortars that go up. So what is PTSD? The VA psychologist in Pittsburgh says it's that big reaction after a traumatic event. One of the sort of telltale uh, symptoms in terms of any kind of a trauma condition can be what we call an enhanced startle response. So how do you best deal with it during the 4th of July? First, let your neighbors know fireworks are triggering. A face-to-face -face conversation goes a long way. If you know you have a veteran neighbor, um, I like the idea of, you know, maybe just checking in and things like that, just, you know, being neighborly. Second, gear up. Darken the room, wear earplugs, and if you're out, have a designated driver. Third, Prepare with self-soothing methods. Practice mindful breathing techniques to calm your central nervous system. Meditation is pretty popular these days, so doing any kind of like a grounding meditation, there's apps, there's all sorts of apps that have things like that. And fourth, cool the body down. Use ice to reset your system, but don't ignore getting more help. I think a big question folks um, in terms of veterans would want to ask themselves is, is this just one day out of the year that this is really causing any kind of distress or impairment? There's hope and help available professionally and from those who care. There's no better therapy than to be around other veterans who have experienced the same thing. If you or someone you know is a military veteran in our community and might be dealing with PTSD, I've gathered a list of resources to help you combat it, as well as ways to get connected with other veterans at KDK.com. Megan Shin, KDK-TV News.